Hello there, Mike Orton here. As you can see in this video, we're going to be looking at how you can upload either a web page or a website um, via FTP. So, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume you know what FTP is. If you're not sure, then I have also made a video on um, how you can download an FTP client and the FTP software that we're going to be using, and it kind of explains FTP in a bit more detail. Okay, I'm going to assume that you've got a website. Uh, I'm going to assume that you've got web hosting. In this particular case, I've bought my web hosting from HostGator because they're a very reliable host at 99.9% .9 uptime. You're looking at $5 or $8 a month for, for very good, uh, very reliable hosting. You may decide, of course, to go for free hosting. Not a problem. Just type into Google free web hosting, and I'm sure you'll find something uh, reasonably good. Not sure how reliable. I'm sure there are reliable free hosts out there. I just don't have any experience of them. Now I've bought a domain and I've bought a hosting but at the moment if we go to my website we'll see all you get is an error message. My website and domain name is called ProGuides.net and I'm going to show you how I can take my website which I have stored locally here on my computer this is just in my documents on my PC at the moment how I can take this from here to here um, so in a few moments you're going to see this website absolutely live up and running so that anyone in the world who types in proguides.net can access it okay so I'm going to show you some software called uh, core FTP this is the FTP client I was mentioning um, basically very reliable piece of software it's completely free and does the job very well I'm going to click on site manager and this is going to allow me to take my documents my um, my website from here from this folder and place it online so that anyone can see it. I need to type in a few details like the name of my site, the IP address, all these kind of things and I'm going to get these details just now. I've got these saved so I'm just going to paste these in like so. My site's called proguides.net. The information that you're seeing here was uh, given to me when I set up my web hosting with HostGator. Wherever you set up your, your paid hosting or your free hosting, you will get all of this information uh, when you set up. Okay, so I'm going to paste that in like so. I've got some more information here, my username, like so. Paste that in. And last but not least, the all-important password. Just paste that in there. And all we do then is click Connect. The default settings are absolutely fine in the majority of cases, so you don't need to worry about anything other than just clicking Connect in most cases. Yeah, um, this is the important file public.html, so I'm double clicking on that now. This is the file, the area where you're going to be putting your website. First we need to locate the website on my computer. Just going to click on this directory tree, pull this into view. You can see this local view means it's actually on my computer. We're going to go to my documents, which is where, I'll just close that, where my website is stored. I've made a folder called my website. Here you can see the pages. Index.html is your home page, and the other pages are kind of like sub pages. Now, I'm going to put pretty much everything onto my, uh, onto my website. I'm going to do that by clicking here, this arrow, and this is going to transfer everything. You can see it all kind of loading into um, my website as we speak. If I just scroll down a little bit, uh, you can see here how everything's being transferred locally from uh, ah sorry going to this destination from my computer. Okay, we'll just scroll up a little bit, and that's really quick to complete. There are only a few pages and uh, very simple pages at that, so the transfer process is pretty quick. Now you can see I've got the same files on the right, public HTML meaning inside the website, and my documents here. It's pretty much the same. I've got all the important things uh, that I need from my website are now here. So if we go back to proguides.net and we scroll up, you can see here this is an error screen because previously nothing was there. If I just click refresh, you'll see this is now the website that I've uploaded 
from my PC. Um, very simple page. You can see I haven't finished it. It's actually all in Latin at the moment. Um, so yeah, the actual real website won't be in Latin. Um, yeah, we've got ProGuides.net. You can see that stored online if you were to type in right this moment pro-guides.net uh, then this is what you would find if I click on this here this remember we're back in in my PC now locally on my computer if I click on index.html the difference is is that this is stored in my documents so no one can see this particular uh, page until I use um, FTP until I use this software here to transfer the file online. So we'll look at a few final things very briefly. I've also transferred a few other pages. Um, if we click on my product.html, just copy that extension. If we go back up here, like so, proguides.net, paste this in, whoops, like so. Click on enter on my keyboard and I haven't designed the page yet but this is my one of my sub pages it's a page I've called my product we've got another one that we can look at sub page it's not a particularly interesting page yet because I haven't designed it properly but if we just scroll up here and you can see how all the individual pages work we'll just delete that paste that in press enter and we're welcome to my sub page so I'll design this and upload a new version uh, within the next few days and that's pretty much it if we just go back you can see we're on the the home page if I just click and copy index.html and paste that in there if you didn't know about this basically index.html is your home page and you don't actually need to type that in for it to appear it just basically uh, shows itself like so so basically you can only have I'll just move this up so you can see you can only have one file called index.html and this will be your home page and any other pages that you upload from your computer onto your website will be what are known as kind of like sub pages as we've seen here with my product.html if we just scroll back like so yeah, myproduct.html is a sub page. The main page on proguides.net is this page, the index.html page. Okay, hopefully this has been useful for you. We'll just go back to the main page here. What we've done today and in this video is we've taken a website and web pages which have been stored locally on our PC. We've used a piece of software, a very simple to use piece of software called Core FTP, which is your FTP client, and we've posted them online so that we've eventually, uh, pretty quickly, got our own website all up and running. That's pretty much the end of the video. Hopefully, it's kind of explained things easily and, and uh, clearly to you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.